Hey everyone, Jeff Lee here at NAB 2014. We're at the AGA booth. I'm, I'm speaking to Andy right now about the brand new Scion. So, big news this year, AGA is now making a camera. Absolutely, yes. Right. So, tell me a little bit more about it. We know it's 4K, mm -hmm. right? What else, what else is inside this thing? Okay, well, AJ have now been going some 21 years. This camera represents over almost five years of development for us. The reason why we brought a camera to market is it builds upon a lot of existing technologies we've developed over the years. Obviously, with IOHD and KeyPro, we were more or less in developed the market for external encoding. So, this builds on all of that strong encoding technology. What we've tried to do is bring back a camera to market that draws on the last hundred years of camera development, i.e. we bring in ergonomics back, a camera you can take out and put on your shoulder. Those ergonomics, of course, have now been balanced out with magnesium case, uh, and in that respect, it's just six pounds in weight to get it up on your shoulder. Yeah, I mean, it's a great size. Now, mm. right away we noticed that there's a couple SDI outputs. It requires a data pack that comes off of the key pro quad. That's so correct. this is a ProRes recording only? Or? Exactly, yeah. So all the internal encoding here is going to be ProRes, but significantly it's every single flavor of ProRes. So 444 and 422 at every level. Down the proxy even? Exactly, yeah. So 422 proxy all the way up to 422 HQ and then 444 at the top. And up to 4K recording or is it strictly HD only internally? It's 4K recording. If you want to do 4K 30p, that's 444. If you want to do 4K 60p, that's going to be 422. Now currently that's not the encoder, that's a limitation of the bandwidth of SSD. So what we will want to do is make sure we can give you a media that we can warrant, you know, guarantee that performance and then we'll give you a firmware update allowing you to do that. So as far as other options for higher frame rates, what, how are you doing this? Via Thunderbolt, okay, via so SDIs? Yes, both in fact, sorry. <laughs> both, so we've got Thunderbolt here. This will allow 4K 30 frames per second on export as AJA RAW. But the three G SDIs, the four of these on the output, these will actually give you up to 120 frames per second at 4K as AJA RAW. And what are we using to record that? The RAW at the moment, we would want you to use something like the Corvid Ultra and a hard drive array. That will allow that in real time. Um, with AGA RAW, when the RAW spec is released, like everything else with the camera, it's going to be an open spec. This means, this means in fact, that we'd be able then to allow other people to make recorders for it, and so on and so forth. So that's what we hope. Oh, so you're going to open it up to everyone else it in the future? Open standard. We, we try to make everything non-proprietary. We've got quarter 20s on the top, standard size connectors throughout. Yeah, I noticed that. Right away, I noticed that you have PTAP connector right up the top, too. Yes. That's interesting. Right where it should be, which is nice. Again. I can't stress how much thought has gone into the design. The aesthetic of the design is everything, the functional and practical elements of it being key as well. It looks beautiful, but it behaves beautifully as well. In terms of operation, it's perfectly set for three people to operate this without getting in anybody's way, which we think is really important. But as you said, P tap power up front where it needs to be, and always dedicate a down convert. So even if you're working in 4K or UHD, your EVF and your monitor will always be down convert to 2K or HD, respectively. Fantastic. Now, uh, PL mount only, or do we have other options? PL mount only, but again, going back to the, op the open system, it's a mechanical mount with four screw points, so it's completely removable. We offer back focus adjustment as well for the sensor, so this means if a third party wants to make an EF mount, they're good to go. They can know they can do that, and the user can then interchange that themselves as they see fit. Are there electronics behind the mount for the no, future EF? mechanical mount. But what we have included behind there is a combined IR cut and OLPF. So the infrared cut means we get vibrant, strong colors, and then the optical low-pass filter means we get a reduction in moiré patterning, so a really crisp, clean image. Fantastic. Now, I think question everyone's going to want to know, price and when? Okay, this summer, so summer 2014, the price is 8995 and that's with a two-year warranty. And one more question, what's the battery options? I forgot to ask the you that. The battery options are really, really good. So with the camera unit itself, you will get a replaceable plate on the back. So this plate comes off, two pin power comes out. We then provide you with the plate that you can then use to apply your Anton Bauer plate, IDX, whatever your power source is. We, we are good to go with industry standard juice. Fantastic, so truly an open camera. I, I, I almost want to say open source, but. Absolutely. Great, well, uh, this has been great. This has been a lot of fun. We're You're looking forward welcome. to playing with it. Thank you so much, Andy. Wonderful. You're welcome, nice to meet you. All right, thank, thank you. you Stay tuned for more, thanks.